Hey guys, welcome back to Insomnia Extreme. For this year's Mermaid, I wanted to do mermaids inspired by the elements, and so for today's video, I bring you fire. First thing I did was quickly sketch out where the magma rocks were going to go. This part's kind of just tedious, so just sketching them out ahead of time is a little bit easier, and then block down your brows. And then to create a yellow base layer all over my chest and face, I used Made You Looks Body Paint in Sunflower. I used a large brush to apply this. This one is from Mayron, and just having one with these wider bristles means you can get a lot more coverage quickly. Though if you find there's some areas on the face that are a little bit trickier with the large brush, you can always go in with a smaller one to make it easier. For the eyes, I knew I wanted to have a giant winged smoky eye. So to start building up the base for that, I was using the orange tones into the red from the Illuminati Kaleidoscope palette. Taking the lightest orange first, I applied this down in the eye shape I was going for and then started using the darker shadows as I got closer to my eyelid. Once I had that, I needed the base for the black, and to make it as deep as possible, I first laid down a black gel liner and blended it out, and then I went over that with a matte black shadow and blended all around the eye area. I did take this moment to quickly fill in all the gaps I have between where the magma rocks are going to go, and this I just did with a smaller brush, same color as before, the Made You Look Sunflower paints, and from there I'm going to be able to move into contouring. For this, I did take the same orange shadow and just used it along my cheekbones, nose, and around my lips just to give my facial features a little bit more structure and help bring definition back to the face. While defining things with the orange shadow, I did take a little detour to try and add some gills along the neck. Fire was one of my harder elements to try and imagine a mermaid for since it's kind of the opposite of the element it usually lives in. So I wanted to make sure there was at least a few features on this mermaid that kind of were a little bit more traditional. So for this, I just used the orange shadow into the darker reds as well. And then a very fine line of black along the very edge where the gill would be just to make it look like it's a little bit more three dimensional. Then the main reason I actually drew all of the magma rocks first is because I wanted to make sure I'd be able to actually do all the shading between the rocks. I found that when the pieces are close together, they actually get a lot darker. They'll have tones of orange and red between the cracks, whereas in the more open spaces, you have a lot more of that like hot magma yellow. So in order to do this the most effectively, I decided to sketch out the rocks first. And then this way I'm able to go back in with the orange red shadows and start blending through all the cracks. I also found the stage helped to kind of build up some texture in the skin, so I was just using it to blend out into more of the yellow and having it just be a little bit more interesting than a flat base color. And when you're fairly happy with all of the shading between the rocks, you can go ahead and fill in the rocks themselves. For this, I'm just using Mayron's Paradise Paint in black and using a detail brush to fill in all of the ones I've already laid out, as well as adding in a few little ones here and there to kind of help fade out the designs and move a little bit more with the actual shape of my face as well. And then to start building up the rocks so they actually seem a little bit more three-dimensional or at least have more texture and not just a flat black spot, I went ahead and took the Storm Cloud color from Mayron Paradise Paints, which is essentially just a medium tone gray, and started adding this all over the rocks pretty much in completely random patterns. I can't say I had a very specific way of doing this. I was looking at pictures of rocks, but essentially was just adding different highlight tones across the rock shapes, hoping that it would make it look a little bit more three-dimensional and better defined. Just before adding the black paint to the neck and chest area, I did just go in with a red eyeshadow and kind of deepen all those areas that I was already building up. I just found the orange wasn't quite enough on its own. And then of course I went ahead and painted in all of the rocks along the chest area as well, using a little bit of a bigger brush than the detail brush I was using on the face, mainly because it helps cover more area. And I do find that having the rocks be a little bit bigger here actually balances out better with the face than if you did the exact same size. And also, I don't really know how much it reads in the end, but I did actually try to put the rocks kind of in the pattern that would exist on a fish. Again, just trying to bring in a few more elements to make it a little bit more of a mermaid. So I look at a lot of different fish patterns when I'm trying to design new mermaids, and I wanted these to kind of be in a similar shape that uh, different tropical fish might have along their scales. And then the last little step I had for all of the magma rocks was to take a white body paint and apply it to very similar areas that I had laid down the gray, just less widespread. And this kind of helped just make it a little bit more bright and defined. And I did end up going back with some more of the deeper red eyeshadow. I just felt like it wasn't quite dark enough around those areas like I wanted it to be. So I just added this in and again, pulled it out to add a little bit more texture. You can just do it to your liking or leave it with the orange, whatever you're feeling. Final touch was the black lipstick. And for this, I just used the NYX liquid lipstick in Alien. I of course already added on the fins I had made, mainly because partway through the paint, I just really wanted to rock them. 
But that is it for my fire elemental inspired mermaid. She probably would live in like a lava lake or something. Either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so freaking much for watching. I, of course, will see you next video. So until then, bye guys.